Welcome Capricorn to your November 2019 reading. I'm Jenny Florence. Guys, welcome so much. Welcome back to those of you who are already subscribed, who are part of this really lovely, ever-growing community. Um, I love the way you're sharing your stories, um, talking to one another, talking to me. Um, it's magic just to have your feedback, so thank you. And I'm loving the way people are yeah, being so open, honest, sharing, caring. Really, really is lovely. Um, if you're new to my channel, if you're new to the AZ Emotional Health um, channel, then welcome, or welcome to this community. Guys, I do quite a lot of free stuff. I have quite a lot of free resources as well as the readings that I do. This is going to be a big monthly reading. We're going to start in just a moment by drawing the runes. So anyone that's new, do check out the information box below. Um, all of the information for the additional free resources is there, um, including um, every month I give one of my subscribers, I offer one of my subscribers a free private reading. So if you would like to be in the running for that, do just check check stuff out in the information box. So guys, let's, let's draw our runes. Very powerful month, November. Um, we've had a new moon in Scorpio just a couple of days ago, directly opposite Uranus, the great awakener, the clearing away of the old, making way for the new. So it's been a very powerful couple of weeks, I have to say. And um, today I'm actually doing this on the 31st of October. This was once the pagan New Year, so it's a, an amazing time for looking ahead and setting intentions, guys. drop that one. Um, right guys, we have two runes that have come out first. We have the rune of separation and we have the rune of protection. Interesting combination. So separation um, says that old skins need to be shed and it's kind of like you're asked to be um, to persevere, to be diligent in carrying out this sort of process of transformation. The gain from this transformation is in the letting go. Sometimes this is associated with property, so if you're moving house, um, good time to be doing this, guys. Again, letting go, moving on, and making way for the new. Now, the rune of protection is interesting because it speaks of new opportunities and also of managing your emotions. Don't get overwhelmed by either the highs or the lows. When we are involved, I mean, you know, house buying, let's use real estate as a good example. It's actually really stressful moving, even if we're moving to somewhere we want to move to. Moving is really, really stressful. And I, I don't know what it's like anywhere else in the world, but in the UK, um, our system of moving is incredibly stressful because you kind of don't actually know almost until the day contracts are signed whether it's actually going to go ahead or not. So you're kind of planning and yet on hold at the same time. It's really quite challenging. So, you know, again, and we, we can really get um, overwhelmed emotionally. So this is interesting because this rune of protection speaks of new opportunities. It also asks you to keep your energy clean. Keep space around you. Don't absorb um, too much of the energy of others because you need to be looking after your own energy at this time of, yeah, of diligently um, moving forwards, shedding old skins, letting go. Sometimes this rune speaks of an inheritance, but again, it's the gain is in the letting go always. So there's some process powerful process of transformation going on here. Of course, letting go, even though this is associated often with real property stuff, possessions, I mean, it can also connect to internal patterns of thinking or behaviour. But as a rule, it's usually something kind of solid or concrete. I mean, it could be a job or a, yeah, all sorts of circumstances, but it tends to connect to yeah, sort of stuff, I would say, for want of a better word. Okay, guys, two more runes. We have the rune of signals, the messenger rune. 
um, all about communication. Um, this is interesting because this rune um, connects to divine guidance. This rune asks you to really notice all of the connections, the exchanges. I'm going to say again, if you are moving house, for example, read the small print. Be very aware, you know, make sure you have a survey done. It's kind of like, make sure that you are being presented with all of the information. Um, it's an interesting rune because it asks you to be ultra, ultra perceptive and alert to people around you, including the sort of the energy of them. You know, sometimes even people who are a bit challenging can actually bring us very good messages, you know, um, they can bring us really good information, they can actually bring us wisdom, even if it's unintentional. So just, yeah, just be very careful, keep your energy clean again, I'm going to say. And then we have this wonderful warrior rune, which is, this is like a rune of self-actualization. It's really interesting because it says if it is, um, whatever it's about, so it could be, if you were asking a specific question, let's say about a relationship, it would say that that relationship is timely and providential. You have work to do together. If it was in relation to a cause or a project, it would say this is really appropriate. Follow your, you know, trust your intuition, follow that cause, follow that, um, that idea, follow that project, follow it through. Um, it also calls for patience. So although you're being asked to follow, to be true to yourself, to live in alignment with yourself, with the kind of calling of the warrior, the spiritual warrior within you, it also asks you to be patient, to allow, thing, allow things to unfold and to emerge. Again, you know, I think it's very important to connect to, you know, the signals it rune is all about connection to the divine, recognizing that circumstances are showing you signs, even if even if there's a delay. So again, going back to this idea of moving, of letting go, old skin shedding, real property. If there's a delay, I'm going to say it's providential. Trust it. You know, the universe is bringing you signs, signals, and they are right for you. You are being directed on the appropriate pathway. Very interesting energy here with these guys. Really, really fascinating. So guys, I'm just going to put our rooms over here. I hope we won't be drawing any more. I don't think we will. We'll, we'll see. Sometimes we can be called in the middle of the reading to do something. In a moment, we're going to draw from this tarot pack. This is a full reading, so we will be looking at the month of November. I am curious with this series of runes, given that Mercury went into retrograde today and will remain in retrograde until the 19th, 20th of this month. Mercury retrograde often brings delays, um, disruptions, things don't run to plan, things don't run smoothly, but you know, always with purpose, I think. It's, it's really helpful for us to really keep that overview, that space, again, energetically keeping your energy clean. Um, don't kind of drown in the highs and lows of your emotions. If something doesn't run smoothly, trust that it will be a signal, a sign, um, a message. It will be important to you. And it will be important in terms of the divine sending you messages, signals that are about keeping you on the I'm going to say the pathway that is right for you at a level of soul. So, a very powerful energy here. We are first going to draw from the Art of Manifestation cards. Now, these give very clear... Oh, gosh, leaping out. These give very clear direction and very clear guidance. Okay. Well, guys, we have two very powerful cards. We have Trust the Universe... You can see them, yeah. Trust the universe and stay on course. Now I'm going to read you the messages that come with these cards. I'm going to place one either side of the runes here. 
What this is suggesting to me is that you are on track, but there may be delays. And I don't think you're going to be massively course correcting. I don't think you've made decisions that are not in alignment with your journey. In fact, far from it, I think you are on course. It may just be that there are some, what I'm hearing is, it's like pay attention to the detail. It may be that if there's a delay, it's because you need to tweak something or notice something or renegotiate something. So you are on course. I'm really hearing that very clearly, but there may well be delays. So there are messages within those delays that are genuinely being sent to you in order to make sure that um, your course ultimately works out. But you are on course, that's what I'm hearing. So I'll read this message. Trust the universe. Sometimes we can strive relentlessly to make something happen and then experience huge disappointment when our efforts do not work out. Whilst action on our part is required, if we are too determined to stay on one course only, we inadvertently block ourselves from the guidance and direction that the universe is trying to bring to us. This is a time to trust and let things happen. We then have this card of stay on course. You are facing some big stuff in your life right now. This card is a request that you keep going and stay on course, however challenging this may feel. Please be reassured that right now, this is the appropriate way forwards. The universe supports your direction and slow and steady progress is assured. Again, so beautifully in alignment with the messages of the runes. So be diligent, continue on your pathway, but make sure you cross the T's, dot the I's. If there is a delay, it's providential. It doesn't mean you're not on course. It just means that something needs to emerge. What I'm hearing is within the process. Something will be brought to your attention. It doesn't mean you don't go ahead. Indeed, I would say hold your pathway. Um, again, the warrior rune, if you're seeking guidance around a relationship, it is timely and providential. Stay on course, but maybe certain things are coming to light so that you navigate that relationship differently. If it's a project, a cause, moving house, whatever's going on in your worlds in terms of transition and entering into kind of a new phase of some sort, the shedding of old skins, it feels like there, you know, patience is needed. You know, be patient, but also be, be alert, be aware. Very powerful energy around you guys, but you are on course, and I'm you know that feels really. I'm going to say there's a solidness about this, which during times of transition is for me, it's always reassuring when I draw a card like that because I, I think it's so natural, it's such a human thing to wobble, you know, when we are in progress and in movement, and sometimes you just wonder what on earth is going on, and you question whether the universe has your back or not, or are you making the right decisions? This is such an affirmation of that. So guys, wherever you are, you are moving in the right direction. This is, um, this is really good. Um, but just allow things to emerge and be patient. So if you have any kind of uncertainty going on, sit with it. Allow the messages um, to be shown to you. Um, it, and it's not about guidance on a different course. It's simply about guidance on your existing course. It's allowing information to come to you. So you navigate it, literally kind of like taking it step by step. Patience, perseverance, that's what I'm really hearing. So we now draw from one of the tarot packs. Okay, so there's some um, evaluation going on here. If, well, two cards of evaluation. I'm actually just going to shift the cards around because um, we're going to be drawing a few from this pack. Are we still in camera? I think so. That should be cool. 
good. So we have the card of judgment, we have the card of temperance. You need to weigh stuff up, guys. You're going to need to make some decisions, and I, I'm going to say the decisions, I think, are about the way that you navigate your journey this month, and the decisions are, as I've said, taking one step at a time, trusting that you'll be shown the right pathway almost on a daily basis. Weigh things up, evaluate, don't rush to make decisions, don't rush to be responsive. Um, critique, not critic, yeah, very important. Don't be critical of yourselves or others. Critique, um, an artist can achieve the most amazing creation, as can a writer, through the sort of editing process, the critique process. If we can't critique, then we can't almost like give ourselves constructive and realistic feedback. So we need feedback, we need to evaluate in order to step into the best version of whatever we're doing. Again, what lovely warrior energy. But um, you are being asked to evaluate, literally to, to weigh things up, weigh up the pros and the cons at every step and trust you'll be shown the way. Choices, guys. Choices and choices in connection to people, to relationships, to love. And then we have a card of manifestation. Wow, guys. This is really interesting. This is an interesting dynamic here. Choices in relationship. Where do you want to be? Who do you want to be with? I, what are your values? What are you trying to manifest? What do you need to connect to, yeah, what do you need to listen to within yourselves? Old skins must be shed, okay? The gain is in the letting go. I, I want to ask a question, it's really interesting, that's what I'm hearing. Is there anything that is blocking you from allowing you to listen to that which you desire? Is there any aspect within you that says either I don't deserve that or that's not possible or it'll never happen or you're just having a wobble because there's a delay? Don't listen to the wobble. Listen to the, um, the ins and outs of the delay, okay, because there's information in there for you and it's that information that's going to help you to then move forwards with clarity. You're definitely going to be making choices as you travel through this month, I would venture to say it is a month of choices. But those choices are all helping to align you with your truest calling, actually. And it's very important to not allow yourself to, to block yourself in any way, and particularly emotionally. Again, you know, control of the emotions. I don't like the word control, if I'm truly honest. I am a great believer in being in relationship with our emotions. I speak loads about emotions. It's why my website is the A to Z of emotional health. It's why this channel is the AZ or AZ of emotional health. Um, emotions are so important to us. They underpin both our physical health and our mental health. You know, if you are really stressed and emotionally overloaded, you will not be physically well. You know, your immune system goes down. You're more likely to catch things when you're run down emotionally. Likewise, your state of mind won't be good if you are emotionally overloaded and stressed. So your emotional health is very um, connected to all aspects of your kind of holistic health and well-being. So yeah, don't be... Don't get overloaded by the wobble. Remain grounded. Just choose um, any seemingly... See, it's interesting. I was about to say disruptions, but I don't feel like they're disruptions either. That's not the flavour of this reading. It's not disruptions. It's signals. It's signs. It's signposts. It's communications. It's almost like... It's going to be sign after sign after sign after sign. And at each step, you actually have a choice. 
And each of those choices that you make is connecting you. The information is being brought to you so that you get to manifest that which you desire. This is keeping you on track. You know, be diligent. It is appropriate that you are moving forwards. Slow and steady progress is assured. It's just not a month of kind of like speeding from A to B and you get there, you know, and you think, wow, that just works so well. It doesn't have that flavour. It's slow, steady progress, but with purpose. Really hearing that loud and clear. To draw from one of the other tarot packs now. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a card of futility. Um, this says you get knocked off balance. Um, and it's it's like it's a card that connects to negative thinking. It's really interesting. It's sitting under the judgment card. Don't be critical. Critique, not critic. Futility actually says that... Um, if you find yourself feeling despondent, that's not actually really how it is, actually. That's what this card says. It's saying that um, you're looking at your situation through the lens of kind of like self-doubt, okay? It's saying your despondency isn't really real. It's not a true picture. And this card asks you to really, again, to critique your critic, for want of a better word. You know, really important because it's empowering to do so. Guys, it's like some of you are really quite fearful. That's what I'm hearing again. We have this card of defeat. This card says it's not the way you think it is. You don't need to be afraid. Don't be afraid of the outcome. Don't be afraid of things not moving forwards quickly enough. Everything is moving forwards and you are on course. There is such a powerful reassurance in this reading. Beautiful, guys. We have the Magus. Again, it's the same as the Magician, just two different packs. A card of communication, a card of manifestation. A card of choices sitting above the Magus. Interesting because this is the card of Mercury, the winged messenger of the gods. And of course, Mercury is now in retrograde. In this image, um, there are lots, there's more than one card actually within this pack for this position. But in this image, it's like he's juggling stuff. He's weighing things up. He's juggling all kinds of possibilities literally balanced, um, you know, on his tiptoes, balanced, held up by the wings at his ankles. You know, this is a month of, I do want to say, of juggling possibilities and making choices. As you juggle possibilities, trust that the universe is bringing you the information and the signs that you need in order to keep you on track. I'm going to say, as I said, there's such a powerful foundational feeling of the fact that you are on track. It's just that some of the information that comes your way um, may cause you to question whether things are flowing smoothly and therefore, you know how sometimes when things don't run smoothly, it's like we kind of think, well, maybe it's not meant to be. Yeah, I, I know I do that. I think, oh, well, you know, if the universe wanted this to happen, it would be running smoothly. If the universe wanted this to happen, if it, you know, if it was meant to be, it would happen. And then, of course, we can sort of become a little bit so, you know, we're not on track, you know, that the kind of mental messages that run through our internal dialogue then tend to focus on the sort of, well, if it's not running smoothly, it's not meant to be, so I'm not on course. And that's the kind of stuff that these cards are actually talking to us about. But they are saying that's not the case. You know, don't look at your situation or any delays through a negative lens. Don't allow yourself to wobble or kind of feel as though your course isn't right. Your course is most definitely right. It's just that 
greater detail is coming to you so that you can juggle stuff and work out really the very best way forwards. This is um, information coming so you make choices, but it, it could, as I said, feel a little bit, can raise anxiety when we're in transition and things don't seem to be moving forwards, but this is the energy here, guys. I want to say it really is meant to be, and now we have a card of victory. Loving this. Again, real reassurance here. Card of victory. You are on course. Stay on track. You're dealing with some big stuff. Um, you know, this is this is what life is like sometimes. And guys, you know, you have Saturn and Pluto in your sign, um, and they are moving forwards. Plus, you know, we then have the Mercury retrograde energy, which can feel as though it slows things down. It can feel as if there's like a conflict. Some things are moving forwards, other things feel as though they are slowing down. It, it isn't that they're slowing down. It's just that steady progress is being assured. And you guys are dealing with big stuff. You know, we can't have Saturn traveling through our, our sign and not be dealing with big stuff and to have this incredible connection with Pluto. You know, we are all being asked globally to address any kind of structures, whether it's global institutions, organizations, systems of power, um, in a in a big way outside of us, you know, politically, or whether we are being asked to restructure internally. That's the energy that's around. These two guys are going to come together in January, and there is this forward motion now until then. So, you know, it, it can bring us some really tough life lessons, but I really want to reassure you guys, you are on track. That's what this reading is telling us. So I'm going to now draw from the astrology cards, actually. Ooh, wow. Okay. Lovely energy. Fifth house, creativity. Yes, juggle. It's almost like, um, it's not actually connected to any of these runes, but there's a saying in, in the book of runes that I have studied and learned from. And it says, when in deep water, become a diver. I love that saying. I use it quite a lot when people are feeling like they might be a bit wobbly or a bit emotionally overwhelmed. When in deep water, become a diver. Become creative. Juggle stuff. Navigate from a position of creativity and free thinking. Again, allow yourself to receive, receive messages from the divine. Very lovely energy here, guys. I think there's going to be a lot of illumination. And we have this wonderful card, Fire Element, Desire. I said before, don't, um, don't allow any delays to make you feel as though your desires are not valid. Because the energy here is the opposite. These are these cards here are an invitation to remove any form of self-doubt. There's so much reassurance in this reading. I mean, for me, that's the most powerful aspect of it in many ways. It's like this constant reassurance. You're on track. Life is not speeding forwards, but it's moving forwards. Information is being brought to you. Choices need to be made, but they can be made through evaluation, through real conscious appraisal, kind of puts you in a very powerful position in terms of what you're manifesting potentially. Lovely card of victory. This is very much about what you desire and learning to trust that you can have what you desire. It's like there's some underlying element of entitlement here as well. So guys, I'm going to draw from another tarot pack that kind of shows us the energy of the people that are around us. 
you know this is very much focused on you guys and your actual pathway i'm curious to see what kind of people the energy of people is around you so we'll draw from this other pack wow wow guys cards literally leaping out and we have the card of journey make sure that's still in camera for you guys to see clearly We then have the Queen of Air. Wow, guys, and the Queen of Earth. Very powerful energy around you. I'm going to say, in terms of decision-making and remaining grounded. Fascinating, this card of journey, given that old skins must be shed. You know, again, we were talking at the beginning of the reading about real property, about moving. Um, diligently carrying out some kind of process, some kind of movement forwards. Oh well guys, we then have the card of love as well. You are being asked to um, engage in what I would call very grounded, centred thinking and evaluation. And I'm going to say for some of you, there really is um, an external journey involved, literally going back to that sort of aspect of potentially moving house, shedding skins. For some of you, it's an internal journey. It's a process that you're going through, a letting go of something, a relinquishing of either a way of life or... Yeah, just I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't think I need to say any more. You are being asked to evaluate, to integrate, experience, especially your, I want to say your, um, it's back to this sort of taking it step by step. You are being asked to integrate um, your experience. It, it's like wisdom is the integration of knowledge and experience sort of collaborating joining together and consolidating it's like we learn we find our way through something whilst remaining grounded this is all about mindful thinking that is grounded and in touch with really who you are back to this kind of listening to your heart as well as your mind this collaboration. I would also say, guys, you know, when we, in terms of internal dialogue, we all have an internal dialogue. If we have a wobble, what tends to happen is that the internal dialogue that we have will become far more connected to any issues from the past that were challenging for us, any aspects of our childhood that didn't run smoothly, um, any residue of the past will kind of surface if we have a wobble, if there's uncertainty. You're being asked to differentiate here between the internal dialogue that is think a thinking pattern that connects to past experience as opposed to the internal dialogue, those messages that we hear, um, those moments of grace. I think that's, you know, grace is those magical moments when some inner voice within us says, hang on a minute, let's just pause and think about this. That wonderful ability to look through the eyes of love, to see a situation through the eyes of love, to consider a situation from the perspective of kindness, of compassion, of emotionality. And that doesn't mean emotionally driven by anxiety it means emotionally driven from literally listening to your heart listening to your soul i'm going to say for some of you there is literally traveling involved in some way and i'm also going to say for some of you there could be a, a new involvement in some way in terms of relationship i'm going to draw a couple more cards to inquire about this card of love Lovely energy. We have a card here. Allow yourself to receive. It's 
going to read you the message. One of the greatest blocks in our ability to manifest our greatest desires is an inability to allow ourselves to receive. This card asks that you take some time to, to identify any inner beliefs, perceptions and attitudes that stop you from receiving and one by one remove these resistances. Slow and steady progress. Stay on course. Allow yourself to receive. Don't let anything get in the way of your ability to receive. Let things come to you. Again, don't try to push stuff forwards. Listen to the signs. Make choices and decisions and allow things to come to you. More cards leaping out of the pack. Bear with me while I pick them up. Well, guys, we got far more cards than I was expecting. We had two that leapt out of the pack, followed by one that literally just offered itself as I put the pack down. So I'm going to read them all, and this will then, I think, conclude the reading. I'm going to place them in the middle because I think they're pretty powerful. And they kind of tell a story. So we've spoken about the allow yourself to receive. You know, one of the greatest blocks in our, in our ability to manifest is an inability to allow ourselves to receive. We do block ourselves if we have been engaged in any kind of challenging connections to people who've maybe hurt us or given us messages that said we weren't worthy. Whatever it is, remove those blocks. We then have the card of the inner critic. Let's see if you can see that. I think you can, yes. This card asks you to transform your inner critic into an inner critique. Okay, so we've kind of travelled on this road. The realistic appraisal and constructive feedback of a critique will enhance your ability to step into the very best version of yourself. Whereas ongoing and persistent criticism will wear you down, eroding your confidence and your belief in your abilities. Right, powerful um, messages here in terms of not holding yourself back in any way. We then have a card of independence. Okay, lovely, lovely imagery because it's actually about people helping one another, people collaborating, people connecting. This card says independence is a wonderful attribute, but if taken to an extreme, it can border on isolation. Sometimes if we've been hurt or let down or trapped in a codependent relationship, we lose faith in others and we learn only to rely on ourselves. This card calls you to question this inner belief and to develop healthy, interdependent relationships with an equality of both giving and receiving. I love that, given that we started with this card of allow yourself to receive. Again, allow yourself to own your desires. And lastly, we have a card, Persevere. This is very much right, stay on course. This card says, who would have thought that a humble acorn could grow into a mighty oak tree? But of course, this takes time. Whatever you are involved in, this card brings a message of reassurance. I'm chuckling to myself, guys, because the whole reading seems to me to be there to reassure you. Um, I will continue. Your hard work and continued effort and dedication will come to fruition. You are asked to persevere and trust. Guys, um, every now and then I am blown away by reading. I remembered my very first readings that I, not my first readings, I've been reading cards forever, but the very first readings I actually put onto my YouTube channel. And I think it was a Capricorn reading that blew me away and I need to say the same again. There is such a profound message here that says, keep going. Don't be weighed down by any kind of emotional burden in response to things. You are on course. Um, you are worthy of receiving let anything go that stands in between you and your desires um, in terms of attitudes, perceptions. Be mindful, remain grounded, 
look at any situation through the eyes of love. Take a risk as well, guys, if you are entering a new relationship. Allow yourselves to receive. Really, truly, um, blown away. It's lovely. Um, guys, so, so much love to you. And yeah, I, you know, I look forward to seeing you for some of the other readings. And yeah, do check out the information um, box for any additional free resources. And I hope to see you for some of the weekly readings I post every Sunday um, for weekly guidance and direction, particularly using these new Art of Manifestation cards because they're so clear. Um, and uh, otherwise I do big monthlies and sometimes some additional ones too, depending on how the world is. So guys, um, just so much love to you. So much love.